Managing complex diagrams can feel like hurting cats. Disorganized, chaotic, and hard to control. Don't ask me how I know. But there is a solution. I'm Eric with Dryo, and in today's video, we're diving in how you can use tags in Dryo. We'll walk through real examples so you can see firsthand how tags can make navigating, filtering, and categorizing your diagrams a breeze. Let's get started. Suppose you need to explain how your network is set up what devices are connected, which are routers, and which ones need maintenance. But as your diagram grows, it's harder to see the forest through the trees. You need a way to organize the chaos without moving things around, and that's where tasks can help you organize and filter everything efficiently. So let me show you how this works. To apply tags, first we need to make sure that the tags dialog box is visible. Go to the top menu and select View, then tags, or click the panel on the sidebar and enable tags, or you can use the shortcut Command K or Control K on Windows to open the tag dialog directly. Once the tag panel is up, select a shape like this router and enter your tag dialog. Let's add network device. You can add multiple tags such as router by separating them by commas and repeating this process with other elements like switches and firewalls. Filtering and displaying tags. Now let's filter the diagram. You'll see an eye icon next to each tag in the tags dialog. To hide or display tagged items, click the eye icon. For example, I can hide everything except for routers by clicking the eye icon next to router. This helps you simplify what's visible and focus on specific parts of your diagram. Want to switch between different views? Let's say you've tagged devices that need maintenance. By clicking the eye icon next to maintenance, I can hide everything and focus only on the devices needing attention. You can also shift click the eye icon to hide all tagged elements and show only untagged shapes. This is great for working with multiple contexts without creating new diagrams. And here's a bonus, tags don't affect other editors in real-time collaboration. Everyone can have their own view of what's tagged or visual, so you can work on the same diagram without getting in each other's way. Try tags in your next diagram to simplify complex workflows and clarify your team's projects. Whether it's network diagrams, process flows, or project charts, tags can easily help you manage large diagrams. Well, if this tutorial is helpful, just a reminder, hit the like and subscribe for more tips on mastering Dryo within Confluence. If you have not already, make sure you try Dryo for free for 30 days. Just head over to the Alassian Marketplace. Until next time, stay connected. Thank you.